Hey guys, all right, welcome back to my channel. And don't forget to like and subscribe below. So this video is gonna be really, really quick because I just wanna give my opinion about my natural hair journey thus far. So I basically went to a Dominican salon in like 2000 and I think it was 16 and all my hair was burnt out, like burnt off. My hair was probably like, maybe about like this length. Um. Oh my gosh, and it took me so long to grow that my hair. It was the longest it's ever been. And afterwards, I was cutting it and cutting it and cutting it. I cut it like basically really, really, really short. Um, and then I just started letting it grow. So from 2016, I probably had it cut for about maybe like a year and a half or something like that, and it started letting it grow. So this whole video is my opinion now on using heat on my hair. I'm over it, okay? The whole, I would not use heat only if I'm doing like a wash and set, but I might even use heat. Now I'm just going to start blow drying my hair because honestly, my hair shrinks up so much that when I'm trying to untangle it to re-braid it up, it just feels like I'm breaking off so much hair. Okay, it's just ridiculous. Like this no heat thing um, is good if you're not putting like direct hot hot heat like 450 degrees and so on but if you're using like a blow dryer and stuff like that blow dry heat from what i've learned now is not that much heat especially if you're doing it like once every two weeks every three weeks and so forth you know what i'm saying but if you're doing it like every day yeah you're gonna dry out your hair probably unless if you're using my herbal infused hair oil yes but this whole like using no heat with natural hair is ridiculous ridiculous this whole stretching and this and that and such and such it's too much because then when you take it out i can't even comb my hair out let alone break my fingers through my hair it's not going it's a hot hot mess so i am like totally now an advocate of blow drying and pre-stretching my hair before i'm doing any protective styles okay because it's just way too much way way too much it hurts combing it feels like because your hair is curly anyway so it's wrapping itself around the curls so now imagine if you don't curl your hair you basically i don't know what people do that have the hair like natural and wash and go for like days you can't comb your hair for like two weeks how you gonna comb your hair your hair is gonna break off because you keep combing out the strands and the curls like it doesn't make any sense to me and somebody else said before this whole natural movement and everybody had relaxers there was no real such thing as heat damage and really didn't hear a lot about heat damage now you're hearing more and more about heat damage because people are wearing their hair natural then they're straightening it and putting way too much heat on their hair like personally I will do my own silk press at home, but I don't probably, like, my flat iron, I think, is old now, and I need a whole new one, but I'm going to professionals to get it, like, pressed out, but the real professionals, not some flimsy professional salon that doesn't have a lot of clients. I'm going to, like, a robust, popular, well-to-do, upper, upscale salon to get my hair done, and if I have to pay $130 to get my hair done, or $150, then I guess I'm going to have to pay that, which, that's kind of pricey, and that's what I pay for a silk press that only lasts about like a week because as you can see right now I like I need some dry shampoo because my hair is looking very oily um but I'm not gonna wash it what I'm gonna do is another protective style because it's straight so I'm gonna take advantage of the straight but for the most part guys y'all I am going to uh, add heat to my hair okay I'm gonna keep blow drying my hair this whole natural not blow drying it one it takes forever to dry and I don't want to be sleeping with wet hair so I get mildew in my hair like duh if you don't dry your clothes it's gonna get mildew so what you think is gonna happen to your hair and then you get all types of bacteria that's growing on your scalp oh I got a phone call anyway so I just want to let you all know that that is my hair journey and I hope it was helpful I hope this video was I know it was really really quick but comment below and tell me what you all do and are you still applying heat to your hair if not or if so why just let me know don't forget to like and subscribe all right later and visit mercycouturewigs.com